Something tells me nothing new is going to happen during this trip back. I don't think we've done enough to, uh... We haven't done enough to trigger something happening. But I'm going to check on Eileen and check my peak hole anyway. She's not there. And she's just getting attacked by bugs again. Alrighty. Nothing new happened. Let's head back. I don't know. Sometimes new stuff does happen. But lately, that's not the case. Maybe I should just start, like, going back after a lot of progress. Maybe that's when things trigger. Anywho, we're gonna head up this- Damn it, there's still one more. Stay dead, you little fuck. Alright, um, that was the same door we went through earlier. We can head back upstairs, climb both ladders, and check out the other door that was, um, right by the double door. Whoa! Damn it! I missed the ladder. The ladder was this way. Oh, was this the one going up? Yeah, probably. Yes, go up. And... Through the door. Now through this door. Water prison exit key. Cool. So that was locked one. We gotta go up to the roof somehow. Open up the sluice gate. And then go back to the um, the basement and do the water thing. Oh no. Oh okay. I was gonna say I thought those were the ghosts that were pretty much invincible. But I can deal with bats. That's They're not a problem. They're just a nuisance. Okay, instead of taking the shortcut, I'm just gonna keep running around in circles. Maybe we'll see something. Oh! Oh, this is new. Alright, we're on the second floor. This is new. I'm gonna check it out. Lock's broken. Creepy mushroom enemies. They seem kind of harmless though. Albeit really creepy. Oh, so they oh they can hurt me. Okay. The stock's also broken. Leech is on the wall. I wonder if they can attach to me and deal damage. It's kinda weird to have enemies that that can't even hurt you. Okay, another door, another note. The diary. I've been watching the surveillance room's people the whole time, and sometimes he's there. I can tell because I see a shadow move or hear his footsteps. Ah. All right. Are they talking about Walter? Is Walter the one who's been uh? Okay. Pills? Oh. Oh. Oh, fuck. It's the shadow that they're, the diary was talking about, wasn't it? I, I saw his shadow. I hear his footsteps. That's trippy. Oh, I can. Okay, cool. I can smash the leeches. <gasps> And they do hurt. All right. One more door to check out, and we'll be done here. This door. 
there's another note. Looks like something written on paper. Still looks like a kid's writing. I peed my pants. I gotta wash them so nobody finds out. Oh, I just saw a shadow. I think someone saw me. Uh. Wait, what's hanging from- Oh, clothes. Clothes are drying from- Damn it! Man, no one- No- No oh. wonder the, the people inside this asylum prison- Prison? I, I'm not sure what this place is, but no wonder why they're so creeped out. That shadow is kind of creepy. Especially if you're stuck indoors all day and that's all you saw is a shadow. This camera angle is pissing me off. It's hard to fight proper. Especially when, like, you have to look from a weird angle like this. Alright, done. Step on them, step on them, step on them before they come up. Yeah. Another door. Let's go through it. Now we're on the third floor. Okay, books. Are they readable? No, it doesn't look like it. Uh, that means this room is worthless, except for the walking sounds again. There's the shadow. Graffiti here? I'm a boy genius, and I figured out the answer to the surveillance room puzzle. It's light and water. Ooh, I'm glad I came here. That was useful information. Light and water, huh? Oh my god, that's a big asshole. Uh, okay, can't go to the other end. No, I don't want to jump in the hole. Actually, I kind of do. Yeah. This was a mistake. What the fuck? Am I just in- oh. I am now in the second floor. Let's unlock some doors. I can't. Damn it. Okay, jump in the hole. Heading down to the first floor. Is this... Yeah, it's the first floor. It's also a broken lock. Alright, jumping down to the basement. Maybe this is just a shortcut? Is this just a shortcut? Ah! Oh, 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 god! Oh, I was just talking about how there's not enough enemies and shit. Oh god, it's these freaky fuckers. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, go through the door. <laughs> oh my god, fuck. Now we're by the showers. I remember somebody was talking about the showers. Oh my god, damn it. Motherfucking bitch. <laughs> fuck. Fuck! Alright, stairs up. Awesome. Okay. Alright. Three doors. Which one to go through? This one's locked. Now it's unlocked. I was really hoping I wouldn't unlock it. Okay. Alright, we fell into the shower room. I know we're supposed to be there. Somehow. There is definitely... Oh, oh, uh, I, I see. I think I went this way before. Yes, yes, I did. Okay, that was the corridor with all the things on the wall. This door won't open. Seems like it's locked from the inside, and I don't think we can get there through the um through the shower room. Let's go and fight those things. Alright. Uh, get wrecked, bitches! Uh, uh, can you even die? Can I kill you? Are you invincible too? Are you invincible? It looks like it. No. No. Maybe they're not. Double tap this bitch. Yes. 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 Smash it. Okay, that one's down. Okay. Okay. Oh, we did it. Oh, nice. 
you know, not too bad except half my health is gone. It's cool. What's in here? Please tell me there's something important. Fuck, I just wasted my time. And health. Damn. Damn it. <laughs> uh, I'll go upstairs. Oh. This was unex... Very un... Oh, we're in the center room. Is this a surveillance room? There's a document here. This place continues to deteriorate. The doors to a number of cells no longer open. As a result, the kids inside can no longer go outside. Oh, that sucks. But the less they know about that, the better. I can't open the doors, but from this room I can watch them get more and more emaciated each day. With no food and never showering themselves, they turn into smelly little gray lumps in there. Following the suggestion of an engineer, we've disposed of the corpses by digging a hole below the cells. Since each floor of this building can be rotated independently, we can dispose of the bodies without the others noticing by aligning each cell with a body in it vertically. Oh. P.S. Chief, I bet you're just dying to see the interrogation room behind the kitchen. I understand your feelings, but have you noticed? There are three rooms with bloody beds. One is on the first floor, one is on the second floor, and one is on the third floor. If you line those three rooms up, then it's bingo. Oh, all right. I think, hmm, is that gonna be one puzzle or two? According to this report, we're gonna have to line up the, um, line up the holes to the rooms with the bodies in it. The body holes, or the, the body rooms, I'm guessing, are the ones with the locked doors. But that's only if I want to search the bodies, right? Maybe we don't have to search the bodies. The other puzzle would be, um, aligning each cell with the, or aligning each of the bloody beds. Alright. I see this red thing. What is this? Just the... Uh, Emergency alarm, I guess. Time to go back up. Yeah, time to go back up. I want to go up. Another note. To keep a close eye on the kids, it's important to keep the cells well lit. The lights on the third floor were originally bought as searchlights. As a precaution against a blackout, they were set up to run on a private generator. There's a hydroelectric generator in the basement. To light up the first and second floors, use the corpse disposal chutes. Ugh. Since each floor of this building can be rotated, you can light up any of the cells by matching up the holes. Repeating this periodically is an effective way to keep the kids fearful and well-behaved. P.S. Chief, if you turn in the handle in the middle of this room, you can easily rotate the cells. You can't rotate the first floor, so align the second and third floors with the first floor cell that has the blood-stained bed. By the way, if you use the people in this room, it's easy to make sure you're doing it right. Give it a try. Also, please don't forget to open the sluice gate on the roof. Much appreciated. Okay, so the second floor is a rotate. Oh, there is the, uh, the rotator. Um, can I check the the peepholes? Yes, I can. This is not the one with the bloody bed. Alright, we're gonna open up the sluice gate first. And then do the puzzle. Here's a memo. The secret number for getting through the door in the back of the kitchen this month is 0302. Thanks for your cooperation. Okay. So the second and the third floor can be rotated. Um, I don't have access to the roof here, so I gotta go down one more floor. And through this way and find my way back up to the stair the stairs outside. There's a ladder going down, where's the ladder going? Whoa! Where's the ladder going up? I missed it. 
Gotta go back. Uh, damn it. Damn it. Alright, so they can attack me even if I hug the wall. Run now. There we go. Here's the, here's the ladder up. And the outside should be right here. I'm gonna go back after I open up the sluice gate because I don't want to get messed up anymore. Oh. Okay, I ran around in a circle. But. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Honestly, I should have just taken the ladder. And this should be the, what? The, s the third floor. This is where I was at last time when I went through that double door and then ended up in the shower. So I'm gonna take the long way around once more. See if there's enemies to kill. Uh, fuck you guys. Fuck you too and finish him off. Smashy smashy. Oh god. Where did you guys come from? Come on. Stay put. Damn it. There we go. Okay. Okay, these are all dead. Time to keep going. Hmm, so there was another door. Alright, this is roof access? Yes it is. I've been taking the long way so that my map is fully complete. Looks like I need to go through the third floor because I haven't checked out all the rooms yet. Okay. The door won't open. It seems like it's locked from the inside. Damn it. Where is the panel for the sluice gate? Looks like I need to open something in order for the water to flow down. Yeah, there it is. Alright, good. That's done. I'm curious about what's through this door, but since there's a glyph on it, I'm not going to worry too much. I mean, it's probably sealed by magic. What am I supposed to do about that? Oh, didn't mean to go up. Yes, I'm going to go down. I actually wanted to stop here so I can check out the other rooms. Yes, because it's the third floor. Check this one already. This is the room with the hole in it. And a bloody bed. Is that right? Yeah. And here's another one of those fuckers. Alright. Mm. Damn it. I'm going to go the other way. Oh no! Oh no! No! <laughs> oh my god. I'm very close to dying. Cannot let myself get caught by those things. There are clothes lying here. Uh, that's it. Change my camera angle. Change my camera angle. Go through the door. Great, there's another one. Oh, I might die here. Fuck. There's two notes of interest. I'm glad the lights are back on. That means uh, turning on the generator was easier than I thought it would be. Now I just gotta focus on rotating the rooms. It's a diary. I'm in trouble. I stood in front of the surveillance room and yelled as loud as I could, but nobody came out. Another diary. We had beef stew yesterday. In the cafeteria, I heard there's a 
death chamber behind the kitchen, and they take meat straight from the dead people and cook it. That really scared me. That's fucking gross. That's just wrong. Why is... Why does the surveillance team keep referring to, to kids? I'm gonna go back to the apartment. It's time to go back. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> uh, woo! Woo! Go down, go down. Where is the nearest safe point? I think it was just right through the door next to this ladder. Yeah, it should be. Here we go. Time to heal up.